Hey, so uh, this week I've got a bit of an interesting concept for you, something a bit different to usual, but I'm gonna need the help of my good friend Tom for this one. Hey Tom. Tom. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, good, thanks. You just ruined my sofa, my oh. display. <laughs> no, it's cool. So um, I've mentioned Tom a few times uh, on the videos. He's a cinematographer and a filmmaker and he's been involved in quite a few uh, music videos that I've mentioned on the channel. So the uh, Lockerbillies ones, uh, uh, Hot Tramp. You, you're always busy, man, aren't you, doing your thing? Yeah, yeah. So new, yeah. Well, new video this week. New video this week? Yeah. On Saturday, yep. which is about three days after this goes out if I edit it tonight in time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Tom's also the guy who made my intro thing, and if you don't know what I mean, that thing. So welcome to today's video. Um, I'm going to be addressing a subject that has been brought up a few times by my students now, and I thought it would be easier to try and explain it uh, visually rather than in an audio way. So the question I often get is, how do I make um, this drum beat sound interesting? Or how do I have fun playing this really simple drum beat that I play all the time? So I thought I'm, I'm gonna approach this in a bit of a creative way, thinking outside the box, Tom. So for example, um, a lot of my students have to play a real simple drum beat like for like three or four minutes for multiple songs. Um, and I try and explain to them that it's not always about the beat that you're playing, it's about having your own natural flair on that beat and your own sort of artistic way of approaching that. Um, and it's quite hard to explain to someone who's very new to music what that means. So, I had an idea. Uh, me and Tom went out on a shoot recently um, down the docks at Ipswich, got a few different photos, and I thought it would be quite interesting if we both take the same photo, the raw image, and edit it in our own way and then present them to each other today. Yep. So hopefully they're gonna to be totally different. Yeah, we'll see. It's gonna be kind of ruined if like they're exactly the same. <laughs> but uh, the photo that we edited is this one. Who wants to go first? You're the guest on the, on the, on the show. I'm gonna call it a show from now on. Do you, should we have a look at yours first? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, cool. I've, I've drastically changed it from the original. Wow. Tom's photo should be on the screen now, so we're just looking through it. The first thing that I spot is the crop on the photo. So, um, obviously it's drastically different to the original image. Is there a reason why he went for this crop? Um, yeah, I think it's because whenever I'm doing videos, it's always landscape. Mm -hmm. So, my, kind of, my eye just, you know, it, I like that kind of... That yeah, look. I really like it, man. It's good, because I think all... Um, the stuff in the photo that is needed is there. Mm. Obviously there was a lot of space at the top and the bottom. Yeah. Um, the colour's really good as well. It's super orangey and nice, which I think helps reflect that it was a nice warm summery evening, wasn't it? Very warm. But yeah, it's cool, man. Did you do anything to the birds, by the way? Um, no, did you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at my photo now, just to see the difference in the photo. So it should be here. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that the crop on mine is different to yours. So um, I actually went for a bit of a sort of further away, more portrait thing with mine. And I'll be honest, it's a bit of a lame reason why, but because I'm posting a lot of my photos to Instagram now, <laughs> you can take up the most real estate if you use a five by four crop. Yeah, yeah. So the only reason I cropped it this way is so that it shows the biggest on your phone when you're scrolling. Um, in terms of colours, I think we've gone relatively similar. Mine's a bit bluer than yours. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we both. I think we've both done the sort of adding warmth. But yeah, it's cool. So as for the birds, yeah, what uh, have you done? Um, not a massive thing, but I just made them more black. Okay. Because yeah. with the filter that I put, the first layer I put on the first filter, mm -hmm. it sort of washed them out a bit. Right. So I just went over them and like burnt them black, yeah. just so they really pop. Because I think they're like, other than the nice sunset, they are like the sort of main focus of that photo. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's quite interesting. So hopefully you can sort of see what I mean by how you can get two different creative minds looking at the exact same thing and having a totally different result from it. So there's ways you can adapt this when it comes to your drumming. So although you may be playing the same beat, maybe your feel is different or you're someone who likes to play a bit behind the beat, a bit ahead of the beat, putting little accents in there. So the way we can relate an accent to these photos, I guess, is the rush of colors that we've used. You know, Tom's added a lot more orange to his. That's Tom's ghost notes. Whereas I try to bring out the blue a lot in the sky, which is kind of like the accents and ghost notes that I'm doing. I think it's good to, to look at what other people are doing as well and, oh, definitely. and try that for yourself because, you know, with, with drumming as well, you, you've come up with um, 
screws that you, you might not have thought yeah, of and even before. Yeah, even just the way you approach looking at something. Mm. It's quite hard to explain like a, a simple drum groove from a theoretical point of view to someone who isn't as experienced. So a big thing to come out of this, um, which is why I asked for Tom's help, is you know meet up with other drummers, maybe go through some playing the same beats, the same songs, the same feels, and you'll notice that you play them different and you might be able to take something away from each other, um, which is gonna help you. So I think something I'm gonna take away from what we've done today is maybe I would have just cropped the photo slightly different, mm -hmm. you know? If I wasn't approaching it just from a, hey, let's look sick on Instagram point of view. Yeah, yeah I hope that's been helpful. Have you got anything you wanna add? Any creative tips for when you're in a bit of a rut and you don't know what to do? <laughs> um, I, I mean, I, I like to watch what other people are doing. And I think that's a real big thing, isn't it? Like yeah. one of the best things you can do is just see what other people are doing. And it doesn't mean you have to copy them, but it might just inspire you to think outside the box more. Yeah, you take one element of what they've done and, and put it into your own work. Nice. Well, thanks for thanks for coming on to, to help us, man. No I really appreciate it. Tom is like the greatest dude and he's awesome at what he does. So his stuff's going to be linked below. Some of my young dudes who watch this video are looking to get some of their first music videos done. This is the guy to ask. He's pretty awesome. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. I've got a video coming out next week. As per usual, I'm just going to remind you the videos come out on a Friday at 6.30 p.m. If you're new, make sure to subscribe um, purely so you can stay up to date with what I'm doing. I try and do everything music related, drum related so if you're looking for help there then come here words <laughs> <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed the video uh, so hit the like button if you have leave a comment in the description on what you thought of both of the photos maybe leave a comment saying who you thought was better to get a bit of friendly competition uh vote for tom uh, but yeah thanks for sticking around uh, i'm going to see you next time and as per usual whatever you're doing today go out and smash it isn't this landscape yeah is that the what I said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the first blooper at the end of the video. Um, do you want to... Right, we'll take that again. Yeah, you said, you said portrait. Ah, uh, shit. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for doing that, Tom. No worries. Appreciate it, man. Does that make sense, by the way, what I'm trying to... Yeah, I reckon. It's like... Yeah, you know, if you put two people on the same drum kit, they're going to sound completely different, aren't they? That is like the greatest way to phrase it. Why didn't I just say that in the video? Uh, <laughs> <laughs>